Hi, and welcome to Crescendo Network's Application Acceleration and Chalk Talks. Today I'm going to talk with you about true TCP termination and HTTP multiplexing. So, what is true TCP termination and why we say true? True TCP termination means if this is your server side, well, I know it doesn't look like a server, but let's say if this is your server side, we open persistent connections to the server that are kept open all the time. They're not changed by client events or anything like that. And you have your client side. So we have many connections coming from here. But at the same time, we have the same amount of strict connections that we open to the server. Crescendo Appliance, the AppBeat, serves as kind of a buffer zone, I would say. All the client connections are terminated here, and all the server connections are terminated here. The buffer zone allows us to differentiate between the two environments. So the server doesn't experience any network issue whatsoever. All the drop packets, retransmission, any kind of issue on the one side doesn't go over to the LAN side because the buffer zone here protect the server. Kind of like, I would say, a wave breaker. All the waves come splashing in. Here is like a pool. Nothing happens, everything is cool. This TCP termination also ensures that, let's say that we have 1000 connections here. At the same time, we can have only 10 here and have a multiplexing ratio of 1 to 100. These ten, these 10 connections here are kept open all the time and used for the HTTP multiplexing. What is HTTP multiplexing? All the HTTP requests coming from the client are going through the same connections. Once a request sent and a response sent back, the same connection can be used again. Why? Because we buffer the response and send it back to the client at its own speed but the server is working in network speed. This means that we can use the same connection over and over and over again. And even if you have a flash crawl event, even if you have surge of traffic, same amount of connections pushing the same amount of traffic, buffer zone here creating a stable and protected environment. Let's look in a more graphical way. If this is the load, let's say your server maximum performance is around here. And let's say this equals to 2000 transactions per second. Opening a set number of connections will ensure that the performance will not go over that. Let's say that with these 10 connections, we can stay just about here. This is the 10 connections that we have. Now, as you know, traffic doesn't go like a flat line. It goes up and down. All the requests going over the line, and I do hope you can see that it's becoming a bit small. Um, all the requests coming over the line are buffered, queued, and then used here. So if you kind of want to look at it in a different way, it's kind of taking this line, stretching it, but the most important thing is making sure that the server doesn't go over the maximum performance. So this is something that you can do only based on true TCP termination. And if you look at other appliances, then if you have a flash crowd event, you will see that you get more and more connection to the server side which actually means that your flash crowd event is now starting to go to your server. Exactly the thing that you want to prevent. Thanks for checking out this video today. Hope to see you in the next Chalk Talk series. If you need any more information, please feel free to visit our site, crescendonetworks.com. Cheers.